Hey, what's up guys? Russell here, aka Nintendo Ninja from Instagram. Welcome to another countdown episode. This time we're doing the best of the worst. That's right, this could get controversial. The best of the worst Hasbro Builder figures. Let's get to it. Number five. Okay, so coming in at number five is the Ultron Builder figure. Now, in all honesty, this could have been a lot, lot better had it not been for a very, very lack of paint detail. Uh, the feet look like camel's feet. Um, where else do I go from here? The the waist, the waist cut that they've done in it, it just looks horrible. Absolutely horrible. Uh, it lacks any sort of menace whatsoever as a as a fierce looking sort of villain um, very disappointing build a figure number four okay coming in at number four is the Odin all father build a figure or the King Thor build a figure this had potential and there are some good elements to it um, the fact that the his head basically cannot move really. Uh, you, you can't look down, you can't look up. You can look side to side a little bit. The arms barely don't well, don't even get to a, four, a 45 degree angle, let alone a 90 degree angle. He's on a diaphragm joint. The legs are nice. They, they work really well. But uh, just, yeah, that and lack of paint RT, uh, applications, the... His staff looks terrible, his helmet looks terrible. You know, if they'd added paint detail to that sort of thing, it might have looked better. But uh, they dropped the ball on this one as well. Number three. Okay, coming in at number three is the Thanos Builder figure. This also could have been a lot better had the ab crunch actually worked properly. Uh, and the fact that he's so small as a Builder figure, yeah, it's... It's an okay size for a figure, but for a builder figure and for Thanos, it's way, way too short. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of posability. Uh, obviously, ankle rockers, double jointed knees is fine, but his arms aren't very posable. His ab crunch is terrible. It's just, yeah, they could have done this a lot, lot better, and uh, they let us down. Number two... Okay, coming in at number two is the Hit Monkey Builder figure. Now, in all fairness, it's not a bad figure, but it should never have ever been a builder figure. Let's be reasonable here. Let's look at its size. For example, it's what two inches tall. It has very limited articulation. Uh, this sort of thing just doesn't have that wow factor when it comes to building an actual builder figure you know you put the time in to put in a builder figure together and then you get you get this so that's what's dis disappointing about it it does have fun factor where you know you can be a bit cheeky playful with him and stuff like that do some fun shots with him but he's not builder figure worthy okay before we get to number one i'm just going to do a quick dishonorable mention uh, to the Jubilee Builder figure. Now, again, it's not a b actually a bad figure. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just not Builder figure worthy. It's, it's no different size to any of the other figures. And the fact that the body of the figure, or the Builder figure I should say, came with Storm, who was packed at one per case, then became almost impossible to build her on the second hand market which in turn sends her prices up on eBay and things like that through the roof. So 
that's why she's not a very good figure because she's become impossible to to build for some people or too expensive and she's not build a figure size worthy in my opinion number one here we are finally at number one this is my opinion of course the worst build a figure Hasbro has released post return of Marvel Legends it's Rocket Raccoon this figure is practically a statue a glorified statue it has a, a, almost a handful of uh, articulation points uh, the only redeeming point it has is that it's got an articulated jaw but other than that it's got static legs static body it's just yeah it's such a disappointing builder figure for for what you pay for you know i mean when i know when legends were sort of picking up their feet again they were trying to save money and things like that but this could have been one of those things that nearly killed the line just have it sending us builder figures that are really underwhelming so in in my opinion the rocket raccoon builder figure is the worst one that hasbro has released that's it for now guys i uh, thank you for watching uh i'd love to hear what you guys think please comment rate share and subscribe and give me your thoughts and opinions i'm always keen to talk about them uh until next time peace Crispy. Okay, coming in at number four is the All Father Builder figure, or the King Odin, King Ba, King Fuck.